Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new around here, just welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an online clothes swap slash personal styling experience. Um, I have done a video on this website before but that was just a haul video to show you what I received in my swap. Today I'm going to be taking you through the whole process start to finish and uh, hopefully some of you guys will like the idea and check it out as well. So the website I'm talking about is Big Sister Swap and I first found them on Instagram and I absolutely love what they're doing. I'm kind of obsessed. So as always, I don't have a script or anything like that planned like most YouTubers do. So I will probably just waffle on for ages about nothing. And it's also a really sunny day and I've got the heating on. I've just turned the heating off, but this room also has the hot water tank in. So I am hot right so i have got loads of clothes in this spare bedroom because i am a hoarder no i'm not really um so the other day i kind of had a little rough sort through of things that i was going to sell on my ebay stuff i was going to give to charity and stuff i was going to send to big sister swap so i have a kind of rough idea looking at these piles of what's what um but i did take a couple of things out of the big sister swap pile because they weren't quite good enough um one thing even though i washed it i found out it had a stain on it and something was like coming apart the zip so i'm going to get together a bunch of stuff um see how much i've got because on the website you click how much you decide how much you're going to send and then you receive the equal weight back. So I'm going to see how much I've got to then see if I need to purchase a one kilo or two kilo swap. Let's have a look. I think I want to send this. I'll show you once I've got my decisions together. I should really close the curtain because whenever I stand here, it's a bit bright. Okay, I want to send these and I want to send this. I think I want to send this because one of my favourite things as well is that there's an opportunity for you to see how the person who receives your clothes styled them. So that's always really interesting to see. Um, that's my washing, my clean washing. I don't want to send that away. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I've got so far and then I'm going to weigh them and um, see where we're at. So, so far, this might not all end up being sent because for all I know, I could have like three kilos here. Um, so first of all, I've got this Zara t-shirt. We're very in the sun here. Shall I move this over a bit? There we go. Not really much better. I should just close the curtain, but I can't bother. I've got this like burgundy uh, Zara t-shirt that has little black detailing here. I bought it in a charity shop. I don't think anything I'm sending was actually bought new by myself. <laughs> I think it was all thrifted. Um, I only wore this a couple of times. It's not really my, s I liked it, um, but it's like really long line and I kind of like to tuck things in and this, this just never really worked for me. So yeah, this is from Zara. Nice little Zara top. That's pretty light, so that won't take up too much room in our parcel. Next, I have got these Topshop Lee jeans, um, acid wash jeans, skinny, really nice jean. They just, I I can't remember if they never fitted me or if they did fit me for like a short period of time before I put weight on, I can't remember. But these have been knocking around in my wardrobe for years because I bought these when I worked in a charity shop and I haven't worked there in nearly three years. So I've had these a long time. Next is a skirt. I don't know why, I just never loved it. Um, It's just a, it's not quite a mini skirt when you wear it on your hips it's kind of just above knee it's really lovely skirt it's from georgia asda and um it's a button down kind of one i'm not doing a very good job of showing it um but yeah it's really lovely but i don't know why i just didn't love it on me so hopefully someone else will love it and then i've got this play suit which i have had for years and years and years hoping and praying that i will fit into it haven't fitted into it since the day but i think i did I think it was just like a smidge too tight when I first got it. This was from my early days when I worked in the charity shop. So this is a heart print play suit. Three quarter length sleeves, little shorts on the bottom. Do have belt loops, but I don't have the original belt. Um, zips up at the back, originally from Select, size eight. It's so cute. I bloody love it. I've literally held on to it for so long thinking I'll fit into that one day but honey 
no can't keep clothes because we think we'll fit into them <laughs> next oh no i did buy this new one thing i did buy new and it's brand new with tags shame on me so it's a forever 21 dress it's a gray kind of skater dress really casual good for summer autumn winter or spring it's an all-rounder um black zip up the back size uh l uh, cost me £13.50. That's £13.50 I never got back. Um, so that's that. Then I've got these Zara trousers. I recently got these in a charity shop. I got them home, they didn't fit me. Um, they are a size large. They're like that paper bag waist. And then a kind of straight leg. They're really lovely. I'm really sad that they don't fit. Um, they're all twisted. Hang on. There we go. Look like that. So definitely sending a variety of sizes. Okay, let's let's go weigh the stuff that we've got. We're gonna need our spectacles for this. We do not have any good scales in this house, so I'm gonna have to make do and see what's out there. I can't get a very good angle on this, so bear with me. So I've got these, I've got several scales to try. The first ones are gonna try these smart way ones, which are ones that I bought for weighing parcels, but they ain't great, but we're going to give it a go. I've bagged them just so that they all kind of stay in one place. It is going to be too big to fit on the scales, so. Okay, this is over a kilo. This is 1451. So, let me just try it this way up. Yeah, okay, 1452. Okay, so we are over the kilo. Wait, what am I measuring in? Grams. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Five kilo kilos is one. I'm confused. <laughs> My option now is to decide whether I want to buy the one kilo or the two kilo. Uh, if I want to buy the one kilo, I will have to either take some stuff out or accept the fact that I won't get the same uh, weight back. Or I can put some more stuff in and up it to two kilos. So I think that's what I'm going to do. More bang for my buck. Okay, so I have got my bag on my scales open, ready to add some stuff into. Um, so I've got about 500 grams left to play with. So I'm going to try this dress, see how heavy this is. This is something else I bought in a charity shop and it ended up being, not for me, but it is gorgeous. Um, it's a size large pins and needles dress. It's just a little bit too short for me. I think this would be good for someone who's a bit more petite. Um, I'm 5'5". Five five. Uh, this would probably be good for someone that's like maybe 5'2"-ish, I don't know. Or with tights. Tights obviously would be fine as well. It's just a little bit short. You could also add an extra slip underneath, I suppose. So I'm going to whack this on the scale. That was about 200 grams. So um, I think this would take us over. This is a leopard print jacket from Papaya. Blazer kind of jacket affair. I think this might take us over. Let's try my says 1994, so that's pretty good. It, I think it might be resting against the wall, though, so I'm going to take it uh, off where I've got it at the moment, put it back on the floor, and just check what the weight is. Um, so bear with me for that. This works well easier than doing the bag thing. So this comes to 1981. Look at that. Excuse my dust over here and over here. Um, so, yeah, I've got 20, no, 19 grams left. I'm pretty sure I don't own anything that's 19 grams. It also doesn't matter, like it's close enough to two kilos. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'll find anything. I mean, I probably might have an accessory lying around somewhere, but not that lot, not that much, because I do tend to have clear outs often. So this is what we are sending to the big sister swap. It's very exciting. Okay, so let's talk through how you then go to purchase your swap. So you go to bigsisterswap.co.uk and this is their homepage. Now here it says, let's go swapping. It's the best feeling when big sisters give you a bag of their old clothes. Swapping clothes gives them new life. We're bringing that age old tradition to the 21st century. So you can click here and where it says start swapping. And then you're taken to the place where you purchase your swap. 
you can purchase an up to an up to one kilogram swap, which is twenty pounds. A one kilo to two kilo swap, which is twenty five pounds. They also new have a new system called Little Sister Swap, which is all for kids' clothes, which is amazing. And there is also the Super Swap, which I believe is one that you do with someone else. But um, I'm going to click on the one kilo to two kilo swap. Send us a bag of clothes weighing between one kilo to two kilo and weighing and weighing exactly two kilo. And we'll send you back a bag of a similar weight with pre-loved gems picked out just for you. Make sure you check your emails after purchase. We'll like you, ask you some questions about your style just to make sure we send you something you'll love. We'll only send out our package once we get one from you. So make sure you send it with your name and return address inside. So we're gonna click on buy it now. It's very exciting. Right, so um, I am going to input all of my personal details. Um, I'll get back to you in a sec. Actually, I should probably check. Where's my phone? I'm recording on my phone. I was like checking my little pocket here for my phone. I'm recording on it. Um, I'm going to check what um, email account I have used before uh, when I bought from here because I have so many. <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, so I have just completed my order and I have been sent order confirmation. Now I just have to wait to receive an email um that will ask me about some of my personal clothing preferences and i will get back to you when that emails come through and i will talk you through that little section okay so i've been waiting for the email to come through and it hasn't come through yet so uh with my preferences and stuff like that so instead of just sitting around waiting uh i thought i would come up here and package up the uh the clothes so Let's do that, shall we? Um, I'm gonna need my glasses. Um, right, so I don't know whether I should use a mailing bag or a box. I'm just, I've got a lot of shit in here, so I'm gonna find something. <laughs> this looks like a pretty good size mailing bag, probably. Um, it's one that has been used before. My main thing is that I want to try and keep the postage cost as low as possible. Um, but to be honest, that only really works when I'm sending stuff that could go through a letterbox. So that doesn't really matter today, I don't think. Um, so I'm just going to fold everything up as best as I can. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I'm sure you all know how to prepare a parcel, I hope. I've discovered that the bag has a hole in, but instead of just discarding it, I'm going to try and mend the bag with some brown parcel tape, so, yay. Okay, now that is all parceled up, packaged up, whatever the phrase is, I need to write my name and address on this paper, which I need to put inside. The parcel, I'm out of breath because I just went on a hunt for paper. So, now that is done, I can't show you because that is not how we do things. We don't give our name and address to people on the internet, unless you're swapping clothes with them. Um, yep, so I'm just going to pop that inside my parcel. Now that it's all packaged up, it feels pretty weighty. I'm thinking it might be over two kilos. <laughs> Write down the Big Sister Swap address, stick it on the front, and we'll be good to go. Hey, it is the next day now. Please excuse me, I'm trying to get the sun out of my eyes, hence why I'm just leaning like this, because if I come back here, we have a problem. Um, yeah, it's the next day. It took a couple of hours for the email to come through and by that point my mum had come home from work and I didn't really want to film with my mum in the house. So we are continuing on this morning. You get sent an email that says, Hey little sister, we're so... Oh, hang on, my mouse has gone off my screen because I'm using two screens at the moment. Come back, mouse. Hey little sister, we're so excited to swap with you. We want to ask you a few questions about your style so we know exactly what to send back to you. Just send these answers back to this email and we'll get your package to you. All of these questions are optional. It will just help us send you something you'll love. What? And then I've also pulled up, you can't see it because I'm not recording this screen, but I've pulled up... Um, another the email from last time so i can basically just copy the same answers and then at the bottom of the email it says how would you just uh thanks for all the info can't wait to pick 
stuff out for you. We'll only send out your parcel once we get the parcel from you, so make sure you send it with your name and return address in it. Please note, postage over 2k can, two kilograms can be expensive and we don't want you to pay too much to send us your clothes. Make sure you weigh your parcel before you take it to the post office so you don't get any nasty surprises. It can help split your parcel in two or three smaller parcels as they will, as they will cost less to send. Feel free to message us if you want any advice on sending your clothes. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that I could have done that. I may have to undo my parcel and try that again. This is really annoying. <laughs> It's great that we're having a sunny day, but it's proving difficult. So, um, I'm going to copy this. It's all basically the same format as before. I'm trying my best to not include my email address in here because I know for a fact when I come to edit it, I'll just forget to uh, remove it. So, what types of clothing are you looking for? On the last email, I just put women slash unisex. So that's the same thing I'm going to do now. I'm also going to, as I did before, I'm going to make these bold and I'm going to underline them. So that's fun. Just make it look a little bit nicer. Right. Now let's, oh, should we do italic? Yeah. Guys, I don't write a lot of emails, so... It's always a bit of fun for me. Size bottoms, UK sizing, please. Right. This is really difficult because I am a very awkward size. Um, I, I'm i finding bottoms a real struggle, jeans and stuff. I think skirts are okay. Um, but bottoms I am struggling with. Tops. Again, 14 to 16. Shoes, five. Got to try and make it look pretty and it comes up. How do you describe your style? It, it really helps to attach links or photos of things you like, shops you tend to get things from, or reference images on our Instagram. Um, Right, so what did I write before? I wrote kind of laid back slash simple, nothing too out there, but I do still like fun pieces too. I feel like I'm a little bit different now. I mean, this was only back in July, but I feel like I'm definitely up for experimenting a little bit more now. Um, but I still don't know what to put because I never know how to describe my style. I'm, I'm gen It's genuinely something I really struggle with. Um... I don't know. I'm gonna come back to that. Anything you really hate to wear, I'm probably just gonna do the same answer as before. What did I write last year? Body con dresses, low waist jeans and trousers, anything that screams, hey, look at me. I'm still gonna put that I don't like body con dresses and low waist. I'm just gonna put low waist bottoms because I wouldn't like a low waist skirt either. Um, anything majorly trendy oh i can't i'm using a different keyboard i'm really struggling to type trendy i.e neon cycling shorts <laughs> um what else are trends that i hate i'm, I'm gonna throw some shade here basically anything you would see on the pretty little thing homepage. <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. Bloody sun. Um, right, how do you describe your style? Hmm. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, this is the bit I dread because I just don't know how I would describe my style. Quite like vintage styles, seventies and nineties being my favourite. Um, 
I like to keep it pretty casual on the whole. Some midi dresses or skirts if there's any going. Mm. Um. Why is this so hard? Just thought I'd add a little bit on the sizing. More 16 if it's jeans or trousers. 14 is usually fine. Okay, I think that's all I can really do because I'm really struggling. <laughs> so I think that is it. Yeah. I'm just going to send that off. So now all that's left to do is to send off my parcel to the post office. I may reevaluate it. I'm going to weigh it again now that it is all packaged up. And I'm going to see what like Royal Mail estimates it would be. Um, and then I might separate it into two parcels. Um, but yeah, that is all I can do for now once I've taken it to the post office. I'm actually going to leave a link uh, in the description to um, an, a YouTube video that basically the head of Big Sister Swap filmed um, and she took us through how a swap works on her end. So that was really exciting to see her reading through people's preferences and picking out clothes for them. It was really, really interesting. So I'm gonna link that in the description and hopefully you guys will check that out too and subscribe to her channel. And um, yeah. Okay, I just went to the post office to post my swap and she told me it was gonna be 13 quid. I totally miscalculated it because I checked, I measured it, I weighed it, checked it on the Royal Mail website and it told me it would be like five pounds something, but I obviously made a big mistake. So I told her I would split the parcel into uh, a couple of parcels. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that now. It's eight minutes to four and I leave, need to leave work at half past four. I, probably could just about manage it but i don't think i'm gonna risk it um so i'm, I'm not can't post it tomorrow either because i work on a saturday morning and the post office closes in the afternoon so unfortunately very annoyingly it's gonna have to wait until monday that's annoying but what can you do Okay, so it has now been a good few weeks since I last filmed. Um, I will say my uh, order did take a little longer than usual, but that is to be expected because the company just keeps getting bigger and better, so they're getting more swaps in, so it's just going to take a little bit longer. And also, it came last week, and it was a really rainy day, so when the parcel came, it was really wet and i originally was going to open the whole thing on camera and show you my first um uh first initial reactions to everything but because the parcel was wet i was a little bit paranoid that it would be wet inside it wasn't it was very well packaged um but i was a little bit paranoid that it could be wet inside so i had to take everything out and have a look at everything but um yeah because i was originally going to film it a little bit differently but now i've just had to switch it up a little bit but I am now very pleased to show you everything that I received in my swap. So, first thing is this lovely polka dot dress. I don't know where this is originally from. I believe it has no labels in it. I think all the labels have been removed, but that is fine with me. It's a nice little mystery. So, I really like that it has contrasting polka dots. We've got some bigger polka dots here, little polka dots here nice little v-neck um a belt for the waist some buttons here it's just very cute it's i think knee length maybe midi i'm not sure um i will try it on for you in a sec 
and uh, you can have a little look at how this looks on everything does fit which is nice that never really happens <laughs> so it's nice that everything fits and uh, yeah cute little dress okay so here is the first dress I thought it would look quite nice with some black little heels um, I'm sure there are I'm sure there are other ways I could style it though I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the contrast belt now I think I would get a lot of use out of this belt with plain black dresses but I'm not 100% sure how I feel it with this dress so I'm gonna try it with a plain black tie belt see I definitely think I prefer it with the plain black belt so I think that is probably how I would style this now this is gonna sound really morbid but this is a really good summer funeral dress. I'm sorry, I know that's really morbid. But I've been to a few summer funerals and really struggled on what to wear um, to find something that is modest and stuff like that. And I think this is a really good summer funeral dress. <laughs> Among other occasions, it, it's good for other occasions too. But um, yeah, I think it's a really nice dress I think the cut is so I'm just looking in my mirror I think the cut is pretty good for me and um, it's got a kind of vintage vibe and I really rate it I really like it I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of it this next item is a top shop top it's definitely a jeans and a nice top kind of top um, probably not the sort of thing I would normally pick I don't think the color is something I generally go for but i do really like it actually i like that it has three quarter length sleeves the back is really open i'd need to wear a vest with it um but it has a lot of nice detailing like the open back uh this little like keyhole slit here and then it ties up there as well it's just really nice okay so i probably wouldn't actually pair this top with these jeans the only reason i put these jeans on is because they're one of my few jeans that I can <laughs> I uh, can get the high heels on over because I couldn't be bothered to take the heels off yet. So these are just like the only jeans I've got that I could put through my jeans if that makes sense with the heels on. <sighs> I can't explain anything. So yeah, I think ordinarily I would probably pair this with a darker skinny jean, but I mean it doesn't look horrendous. I've definitely worn worse. Yeah, like I said, this isn't a top style I would generally gravitate towards. However, I do quite like it. I've not got a vest on it with the moment, but I'll show it show you it from the back. Um so yeah, I think it's actually a really nice top. Not my usual sort. Um I've kind of just got it tied up like that for a minute. I don't know about putting it in a bow. Let's see how that looks. I'm not really sure which way I prefer it. I kind of think I prefer it just tied like that, but um, or maybe not pulled so taut and just kind of more loose. Double knot that, I suppose. Yeah. Um. Yeah, definitely just a nice top to chuck on if you're going out for dinner or something like that. Or do you know what? I could probably casually it down with some skinny blue jeans and some trainers, maybe. I don't know. Definitely excited to see how I will wear this in the future. This next top is definitely a bit of me. This is the sort of thing I lean towards in the summertime. Um, a nice off the shoulder top from Peacocks. I like this detailing on the sleeve. Lovely and summery. I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this. And it's a nice top to dress up or dress down. Very cute. I don't really have a lot to say about this top because it's just genuinely the sort of thing I would always wear. Um, I don't really have any negative comments or many comments in general. <laughs> I wouldn't really go anywhere to be honest where I would pair this with heels. But for the purpose of this video I can pretend I'm a little bit fancier than I actually am. Ordinarily I'd probably just wear this with, this, with jeans like this but probably with like trainers or sandals depending on the type of weather but I do like it with these heeled sandals though like I said I never go anywhere where I can really wear a heel which is unfortunate because I've got about 20 pairs of them. The next thing I love the colour um, but I have to say it's not the sort of style I would normally pick up but I'm definitely intrigued by it so it's this ASOS jumper 
with a lot of little frilly ribbons on it. Um, I've never owned anything like this before, so I'm not 100% sure I'm going to style it because I don't want to just pair it with like jeans. I want to kind of try and make it look cute. Um, but that's one thing I love about clothes swapping and stuff is that you're going to get some things that you wouldn't normally pick up and it's going to push you a little bit outside of your fashion comfort zone and I really, really enjoy that. And also, I don't think I mentioned this before, but if you don't like anything, you can send it back and have something sent back back to you. Uh, so if you really hated something or something didn't fit, you can send it back and you'll get something replaced sent back. So that's really cool. But yeah, I love this colour. I think it's a gorgeous colour. I didn't really know how to style this um, for the minute because I don't really have the time to put a lot of time into thinking about it. So I've literally just put it on with the jeans and heels from the last one. <laughs> I actually wouldn't say <laughs> that it looks terrible, but I would never wear like a jumper and heels. I don't think anyway. It's not really my style, but um, it's a really comfy jumper. I really like how it fits. I just feel like it's kind of jazzy, so it deserves to not just be chucked on with some jeans. Like. Maybe I need to get a cute skirt to go with it or something, I'm not really sure, but um, I do enjoy it a lot. I love the colour, I do like the little ruffles, and it's really cosy and comfy, so what more could you really want? Next thing is something definitely that I would pick up, um, although the colour is like something I don't own anything this colour, I don't think. So it's this papaya, yeah, papaya weekend sundress. Um, I really like this style of dress. I really like a slip dress because you can layer it. You can wear it on its own. I absolutely adore these two colours together. If this didn't have the frills on it, I'd definitely be tempted to uh, layer it under the dress because I just think those colours are stunning together. But um, yeah, I would definitely get a lot of wear out this in the summer and in the winter because like I said, you can just put a black jumper under it. You could put a belt around it, tights, lovely jubbly. Okay, so this is an interesting turn of events because this was one of the items I thought I'd have no problem styling, but it turns out when it's on, I'm not 100% sure about it. So I've decided it needs a belt. Um, so for the minute, I've just put this one on. Um, I'm not 100% sold on this belt. And I would have paired it with some sandals, but I can't get to my sandals right now. So this is what this one looks like on. I haven't like spent ages and ages and ages trying to style it, um, but just like for the minute, I'm just not sure how I feel about it, which is weird because I thought it would be one that I was just instantly like, yes, this is the one. Um, I think if I spend a little bit more time trying to style it, it will be fine if I put a top on under it or something and put it with some tights maybe, but um, just for right now, I'm not sure. I'm as shocked as you are. And then the last two things, oh yeah, I forgot to say, I got one, two, three, four, five, I got seven pieces. I don't remember how much I sent them, but. <laughs> um, yeah, the last two pieces are very jazzy. So I need to get myself a social life so I can wear these. First are these amazing trousers. Look at these. How amazing are these? Um, so these are just like a black velvet with shiny silver bits on, high-waisted trousers, um, and they're a nice wide leg as well. They're quite long on me, so they definitely have to be worn with heels. Not that I, I probably wouldn't wear them casually anyway. I'm not cool enough for that. They're definitely a night out kind of trouser. Let me just see where they're from, for anyone interested. Oh, wow, they're from George. That's cool. My Fitbit is stuck to this hanger. Um, yeah, so they're from George, and they look to, they're a size 16. I think they do fit me though, but they're a little bit, I think slightly too big, but like they're comfy, which is always nice. Um, Cause you want to be comfy on a night out. I'm not hundred percent sure right now what way they go. I think they go this way round, but yeah, they're really cool. They're really fun. Oh, we're very overexposed. Yep, yeah, they're nice, like them a lot. I really do like these trousers. It's nice to have something comfy. It's nice to be comfy, especially on a night out when your feet hurt. It's nice to have something that's not like digging in you. Like if your feet have got to hurt, surely you don't want like your trousers to hurt too, if you know what I mean. Um, 
I'm basically wearing pyjamas right now. These heels are not uncomfortable at all. They're kind of like ugly heels because they're really just junky and stuff, but I like them because they're really comfy and you get good height on them, but they're still comfy. So this is like the comfiest going out outfit I think I could ever put together. Like if I wanted to move around and dance like this, I would never dance like this, don't worry about that. But if I did want to do that, I could do so freely it's all fine <laughs> so yeah i really rate these trousers and um they're not so loose that i need a belt um but i do like the belt because i think it just adds a little something something so i appreciate these trousers i'm here for them i'm not mad at them love them and I just feel really tall in them. Like, I'm only five foot five, so I just feel very elongated and tall. And then the last thing is this skirt. This skirt is actually brand new. It's from Therapy London. It's brand new with tags. And it looks gorgeous on camera, doesn't it? It looks so nice. Now, I have to say, I wouldn't normally pick this out because it is very high. Look at me. And I'm not really sure how, how I would style it, but I just think it's so pretty. Oh, it looks so cool. That would be like a really cool backdrop behind me for videos or something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how I would style it, but I really do love it. It's such a nice colour. I had absolutely no idea whatsoever what to pair this skirt with. The top was hard enough, but finding some shoes that I thought went, that I thought went was... <laughs> That was a task. So what I've gone for is, it's kind of skirt I feel like that you would wear to a festive thing. So like a Christmas work party or something, or maybe something that's not like mega dressy. So you wanna be a little bit casual, but you still wanna wear something sparkly. So I've opted for boots. I have to say, I don't have many nice, heeled boots so I've kind of improvised with what I've got and I'm not I don't know if I love this look but I'm not mad at it so humor me if I had something I don't know maybe with a pointier toe and a bit of a higher heel then I feel like this could work but I don't have a lot of heeled boots but this is kind of I don't know I was kind of bored of trying everything on with heels, so I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, let me know how you would style it, because it is definitely not in my comfort zone. But I kind of I kind of do like this look. Um, I'm not mad at it. I kind of wish I had a belt. All my belts have got gold buckles, which kind of doesn't go with the like copper colour. But um, apart from that, I think it's fun I like it I don't own any skirts this shape either I don't believe just like straight down so that's fun maybe with tights as well it would look all right so that is everything that I received in my big sister swap package let me know if you enjoyed this video um I thought it'd be interesting to take you on the whole process of it because I feel like clothes swaps are like the beginning like it's like the start of a new thing that's going to become really big like i think this is going to be one of the main ways we source our clothes in the next few years so i really wanted to give you a more in-depth little look at it so if there's anyone who might be a bit skeptical about it or anything like that then hopefully this has given you some insight into it because i do genuinely think it's a really fun way to shop and uh yeah i'm really excited about the future of clothes swapping I'm going to leave a link to Big Sister Swap in the description. If you're going to purchase a swap, then please let me know and uh, I would love to see what you end up getting. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new around here. There are plenty of other thrifty videos on my channel, lots of thrift hauls and things like that. So please feel free to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon for another video.